Do you hear about the Mormon knocked on the door? The lady answered the door, said, yeah, come in. Would you like a cup of tea or coffee? Would you like to sit down? They said, we don't know. We've never been this far before. <laughs> I love to write songs about characters, and anybody who's ever been in a bar has met one of these blokes. He's very friendly. He'll uh, come up to you while you're having a nice cold beer and a sandwich or something, and he'll say, g'day, mate, how are you? You know, you say, well, howdy. He says, do you mind me asking, mate, what do you do for a living? And I said, no, that's fine. I'm an astrogeophysicist with NASA. He says, oh, yeah, I used to do that. He said, I'm not doing it now, though, mate. I've just finished up my correspondence course in brain surgery. And to make ends meet, I'm working as a diesel fitter. Yeah, I work in a pantyhose factory. I stand at the end of the line, hold him up to the light and say, diesel fitter. I didn't write that, honestly. <laughs> that is not my fault. But I'm going to call this fella Billy. See if you've ever met one of these blacks. He's Billy with the belly on the bar. Billy with the belly on the bar. Thinks he's ten foot tall, but he's five foot six, and there's never been a situation he can't fix. Not a woman can resist him, man, he couldn't break. Try and tell him different, it's a big mistake. He's a dude that's done every deed there is to do. Billy with the belly on the bar. What he used to be is a little hard to see, but he'll tell you where he's been along the track. About the bullet trays, the body line days, and he walked through the territories and back. How he ate his camel pie when it got the hump and died, and he drank the Murrumbidgee in a burst. And to say, I know, is the only way to go, because there's nothing that's been done Billy didn't do first. He's Billy with the belly on the bar. When he fought the war back in 1944, there were 87,000 dead of me. But by the time Bill had finished, the numbers had diminished, and he left his mates to capture the remaining three. And in Vietnam, he was telling Uncle Sam how to win a different outcome to the war. But they didn't understand when they offered them a hand. There was nothing they were planning. Billy hadn't planned before. Here's Billy with the belly on the bar. Billy with the belly on the bar. Thinks he's three foot tall, but he's five foot six. And there's never been a situation he can't fix. Not a woman can resist him. Man, he couldn't break. Try and tell him different. It's a big mistake. He's a dude that's done every day there is to do. Billy with the belly on the bar. Tried to break off Billy's cool, then we rode him, then he put him on a spit. He taught A.J. Foyt how to drive an Indy, and he sparred with Fennec to smarten him a bit. He's had very long talks with Bob and Hazel Hawk, and he's given Johnny Howard his advice. How to fix up the country and economy, cause there's nothing that's been done, Billy hasn't done twice. Here's Billy with the belly on the bar. Well, I sat there and listened with my mouth wide open, because Billy really had me by the ear. Then the mushrooms started growing and the bulldust he was throwing and the tails were getting taller with each new beer. And when I started counting up the years began a mountain to the present day from when the stories start. When I totted up the page I figured by his age he was born about a year before Noah built his ark. He's Billy with the belly on the bar. Billy with the belly on the bar. He's ten foot tall and he's five foot six and he's never been a situation he can't fix. Not a woman can resist him. Man, he couldn't break him. Try and tell him different, it's a big mistake. He's a dude that's done everything there is to do. He's Billy with the belly on the bar. I bet you know what. <laughs> Doesn't matter what language he speaks, he's in a pub somewhere.